but what if a procedure needs more variables? It, it is highly likely that you may end up like um, passing 15 arguments. We do not have that many registers, right? So how do we process more arguments or variables? Any idea? If we have more arguments to pass to our function, that is very likely that you might have written already functions where you're passing um, more than like 10 variables, or even even an entire list or container. Yes? Address to more arguments, and what that address pointing to? Of course, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. So we can expose the register contents into memory, first of all. Um, um, this one thing that we can either uh, pass more arguments to the function, or there's another scenario. So for example, if you are not passing any function at all, uh, any argument into a function at all, but what if your function logic is using more registers? Let's say if it has, uh, it is using 10 variables. So let's say you have a function written up here, definition, func, and it's not requiring any argument, and you're calling it from here, function, without passing any argument, okay? But here you have x equal one, y equals two, and let's say z equals a list or something, and um, let's say a equals whatever. You can have like hundreds of arguments here, hundreds of values under the variables here. So where are these variables going to store? In registers or in memory? Suppose that I have uh, another variable, let's say up here, x equal 100. So remember uh, when we were discussing in Python, the scope of a variable. So is this um, z visible to the rest of the program? No, why? Because it is a part of the function only. But, but we have studied that whatever variable we use, it is assigned to a register initially. Let's say it is assigned to, um, let's say it is assigned to x um, 21. Okay, and suppose this program, this value is also assigned to x21. So how do you think it is going to uh, execute the program? When the program, when Python starts compiling your code or its five processor is compiling uh, your code, x variable is already assigned to x21. And now when we are calling the function, z is also because we do not have enough variable, so it has to be assigned to some register. Let's say it is assigning it to x21. So what will happen to the original value? What do you think, how, how can you solve this problem? Suppose I have only one frying pan, but I have to cook multiple things in it, okay? So it already contains something Okay, but I have to cook something else in it. How can you solve this problem? Hmm? It's a very, very, very basic thing, yes. We have already cooked the first thing, assuming that. Jump out? <laughs> In our stomach or where? <laughs> other bowl. Yeah. And then we can pour in some other content. So assume that this is the register only, okay? So if we have to utilize this space, we have to spill it into somewhere in another bowl, okay? And then after using this, we have to retrieve it back, okay? So the same concept is applied here. If you have to use a variable or register space, let's say x21, so x, the contents, the original contents of x21 must be saved somewhere. So where do you think we can uh, spill those contents? 
we are already running out of the registers. Hmm? Memory. We can store that into a memory, right? So memory is a huge in size. So we can spill those content into memory, use registers for the current functions. And then once the function is over, we have to retrieve those contents back from memory and load or restore the original values of x21 or whatever registers are. Understand? Get the concept? Great. 